वेलकम टू द सेशन अर्थक्वेक रेजिस्टंट मेजर्स इन मेसनरी बिल्डिंग माय सेल्फ मिस्टर चेतन जी कोनापुरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर दिस इज द लर्निंग आउटकम मींस एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू अप्लाई द अर्थक्वेक रेजिस्टेंट मेजर्स इन मेसनरी बिल्डिंग्स Okay, now first measure which uh, shall be taken in the masonry building. Actually, there are various measures of, uh, but few prominent measures we are uh, discussing here. First is that uh, avoid long walls. That is most important. The sketch is shown here. Uh, you can see here this is the length of the wall. This is uh, more than five thousand mm means five meter. So any masonry wall which is unreinforced should not exceed five meter length. That is very important. Otherwise, it will act as a slender wall. So the slender wall is very uh, vulnerable to uh, damage during the earthquake. So what shall be done for this? For this types of uh, configuration or this room, either you go for uh, buttress, which is provided here, so pillar or buttress uh, to reduce the length of five meter wall. So it must be less than five meter. So you can intermediate, you can provide the pillars or buttress. Or next thing, next next important thing is if it is not functionally uh, bring your uh, use or purpose, then you go. You must definitely you should go for cross wall or intermediate wall. So this will reduce your uh, five meter length also, as well as this will um, make this much uh, region a little strong also. Okay. So depending upon the functional uh, requirements, either buttress or cross wall can be used. To reduce the unsupported length, to reduce the slenderness ratio of the wall. Now, let us see this. Uh, the sec actually, the section, no, sorry, part of the wall is shown here. Especially in masonry walls, what happens? The masonry units, uh, stone masonry units, these are uh, uh, provided in this way. From uh, both the faces of the wall, the masonry units are provided. And whenever any loading will is coming, loading is coming on this uh, wall. So it acts as two separate elements, and the wall uh, masonry units are separating during the earthquake during the vibration. So this is the failure during the earthquake, and uh, do, uh, this has happened uh, in a very greater extent in the Kilari earthquake. Where uh, non-linear construction were damaged, uh, with uh, a very severe uh, destruction was carried out for uh, during Kilari earthquake. That is for the non-linear buildings, masonry buildings. What shall be done for this? What remedial measure? Measure is there. That you should provide through stone. This through stone that will act as a complete integral element or part which will uh, cover both the faces and that will. Uh, the total load up, load above for all the stu through stone that is uh, that will come on this uh, uh, through stone and that distribute this uh, load to the elements below. Through stone is uh, it must be provided in horizontal direction in vertical direction. After several interval, this through stone should be provided. To avoid splitting of rubble masonry wall, through stone should be provided in sufficient numbers. So after one meter, the through stone must be provided. It may be in horizontal or vertical direction. One more uh, measure is there for the masonry wall and for the corners. Long stone shall be provided at the wall junction. So at the corner of the wall, you we should provide the long stone in this way, in both the direction of the walls. So these long walls, if you provide this joint, is becoming intact. So separation of the masonry unit, that is, uh, we are avoiding by providing these long stones at the corners. Okay, now here you can uh, observe uh, one room, uh, and this in room plinth is shown, lintel level is shown, and even roof level is shown. Now this uh, one room building, let us consider height of the building 2.1 meter after lin uh, lintel, 1.4 meter is uh, the remaining above, above lintel. Okay, now this room is uh, masonry unit, brick masonry is shown. What happens in the earthquake? Whenever earthquake uh, starts. Shaking of these walls, so this is short wall and this is next uh, long wall. So these behaviors of these four, four wall must be same. Then only it can sustain under the loading under the vibration. The behavior of these four walls means if so this uh, this wall is strong in its own direction but weak in another direction. 
this long wall that is strong in its own direction length direction and weak in along its width so behavior of four walls there must be uh, integrity in the behavior and how that can be assured that can be assured and that is through height if the from even it's from its base up to height it must the integrity in the behavior that is very important as earth, against the earthquake action so plinth band is provided band rcc band is provided at the pin, plinth level so this is like one rubber band and rubber that is a rubber band that actually uh, con for confining all the elements so here four walls are there that is confined by this uh, uh, plinth band or band at the plinth level next is at lintel lintel level so band is provided at the lintel level above opening so door is there windows are there so lintel door window opening there again that is a, a change in the geometry change in the stiffness so that's why the lintel band so that is one more rubber band at the opening okay so and uh, the last is uh, the roof band or the rcc band at the roof level so at these three levels so band is provided which ensures the integral action of these four walls or this entire building okay so the roof band lintel band plinth bands are very important most important thing in this is the opening in the walls and these opening how these are provided so opening of this window must be uh, having minimum distance of 600 from the corner difference or oh sorry distance in two opening door and window must be 600 mm okay opening of the door must be having 600 mm from the corner of the building okay so this uh, is at least 600 mm means at least two feet so this much distance must be there in the opening and away from the corners or the wall now this is earthquake uh, bands and vertical reinforcement provided for the masonry building again the same one room building is shown same configuration is there there are two openings window and one wall earthquake brands at lintel level is provided plinth level is provided roof level is also provided these uh, brands are provided in horizontal direction so buildings uh, action is ensured in horizontal direction but that integrity it must maintained and there that integrity can be maintained by providing the reinforcement at the corners of the walls at intermediate levels of the walls at the vertical faces of the openings so this uh, vertical reinforcement is very important in earlier slide uh, uh, the bands are provided uh, peripherally and uh, in the periphery of the walls that is a, uh, its integral action is uh, ensured but in horizontal direction that uh, is very important but in vertical direction these vertical reinforcements are required okay so where these are provided the, all these brands plinth level band then our lintel level band, roof level band, the, all these are connected to each other by the means of this vertical reinforcement at corner, at uh, openings, uh, uh, vertical faces, okay. So for openings and corner building corners, we should provide vertical reinforcement. Now this is my question for you. Why bands are provided at different levels of the walls? There are four options. So A is improving stiffness, B higher strength, C locate to locate the damage this integral action of the wall. You think of this question and uh, just uh, find out the answer for this question. Pause the video, write down the answer. Now answer is integral actions of the walls. Okay, now the earthquake bands in the timber are shown. In the timber care was used in the rural area. Right now also in several uh, areas the timbers is used. So this is, this is nothing but like uh, reinforcement. Vertical bar is provided and timber uh, uh, strips are kept and the concrete or mortar is uh, cast. So reinforcement uh, steel is you are going to use the steel then the hooks are used and uh, uh, these bars are uh, arranged in this way and the concrete is cast. So this this will ensure the uh, proper integrity of the walls within horizontal and vertical direction. So this is the detailing of uh, earthquake bands in the RC uh, with the uh, reinforcement uh, of steel uh, bars. Now this is the table uh, which uh, will explain you the earthquake resistance provisions in masonry buildings. Z for zone 2 maximum 15 meter for masonry building zone 3 4 story 15 maximum. Zone 4, zone 5, uh, then again the 
height uh, how much maximum we can go that is explained here mortar what type of mortar how many bands are required vertical reinforcement diameter of the bar mortar mix and bracing if any required these things are explained uh, the for all the, the zones for masonry buildings you can refer this table always and according to this table we should provide uh, the all those provisions okay now this is also the provision for different type of buildings and zones these are the sections for uh, the rc bands and depth of the rc band that depends upon zone and the length of the wall or span of the wall you can see these sections again you can refer all uh, those sections somewhere it is hook somewhere it is the lateral stirrups are required and it's based on the span of the wall most important thing and the zone do important factors are there these are the references for this session thank you